Hey guys, today we are in Audi Q3 with RMC system. The system can be found in uh, other Audi cars as well. Audi A1, A6, A7, low trims because the MMI 3G Plus is the higher version of this uh, of this equipment. And uh, today we are going to enable and enter the hidden green menu. So over here I have OBD11, which is already connected to the car. You can use VCDS or any other diagnostic tool that's capable capable of changing adaptation values in uh, VAG cars. So uh, over here I'm going to enter a list of all modules and I'm scrolling down to find module uh, 5F, which is the infotainment uh, system mine unit and over here I'm looking for adaptations and to be precise I want to enter adaptation channel number five and over here we can see that the stored value is zero the, this means that the uh, hidden green menu is not enabled we are going to change it so let's replace zero with one test it and la right now slide to right writing new adaptation successful Okay, so I believe now we can check if we can enter the menu. What we need to do is press and hold at the same time buttons car and menu starting with the car button. So this one first, then add the menu button and wait for the menu to appear. So let's check it out. Car, menu, give it a few seconds and release. We are in the green menu. Of course, in the MMI 3G Plus system you will have much more options to customize your system over here but in RMC this uh, menu even though it's uh, uh, it has a lot of sub menus over here there's not really a lot that you can do over here so we can go for example to media player and we can check um, history of uh, of playback over here we can check what media uh, sources are loaded so we have uh, uh, some kind of mp3 CD in the uh, CD drive. We can check SD card status over here if there's SD card in uh, uh, either of the ports and so on and there's uh, there's a lot of diagnostic information over here which you can use if you are advanced user or you are trying to diagnose the system. You can check the system temperature. So if you have some stability issues, you can check if the system is not overheating. For example, if the uh, cooling fan is working right now, the fan RPM is at zero. I believe the temperature is not high enough to turn on the fan or maybe uh, this unit is not equipped with a fan <laughs> to be honest i'm not really sure because i'm pretty new to this uh, this module and i'm still still learning with you so as soon as i have some more information i will of course share it with you uh, one thing that i want to, you to know before you go any further further in the system there are options like reset over here which i strongly recommend not to touch if you find something about bootloader or um, flashing the unit unit please please don't go there because you will be stuck in bootloader screen most likely this this happens a lot with mme 2G when you just press bootloader and from now on the system is locked and it's waiting for a CD with the firmware update and if you don't have it you will have a bricked unit until you um, provide the right firmware for the unit to unlock it to um, write the bootloader from from zero okay so that's it for today give me thumbs up if you like this short tutorial subscribe for future ones and see you soon